So still on matters arising. Now let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Davido and Tioma. This is actually the episode three of today's gist. And please, if you haven't watched episode one and episode two, go on my description. The links are there. Follow with today's gist. Then you can see us here what is happening around you. Let's talk about Davido and Chioma. Bears on the street don't blow whistle that Chioma is pregnant. Chioma is pregnant and this time around, it be like say they expect to win. <laughs> okay, now, it all started when they went for the tattoo and on the process, Chioma was spotted pressing her phone checking her menstrual cycle. So from there, bears on the street started blowing whistle that it be like say they are expecting or maybe you don't arrive already. And this time around, we are praying for twins. And honestly speaking, I support that idea of twins. We are supporting it. If it go come twins, let it come. If Chioma is pregnant, is actually a very mind-busting, energetic good news. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm wishing for them. I am wishing that they have these twins. Honestly, I'm wishing for them. Now quickly, let's talk about Papa Ajasko. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so sad to announce to you guys that Papa Ajasko is dead. Papa Ajasko is no more. The legendary Papa Jasko is no more. I they feel sad because, oh my goodness, I remember Papa Jasko. Papa Jasko series, back in those days, very interesting. If, if you know they watch Papa Jasko series, then you are offline. You are offline. And those days, TV no day everywhere. TV wasn't this popular. Like anybody will get TV, you no know, say those people they, they are rich, they are rich. So each time Papa Jasko series don't they rich, you will see everyone they will be like anything where they do, you'll be in a haste, you want to go and watch, you know, that kind of feelings. They bring back those, those old. Hey, <laughs> Ah, it was so interesting. Which channel was even showing that series? Which channel at that point? And the most, and the most interesting part is that we were watching for black and white television, black and white television, and it was so interesting and fun to watch. So sad that our legendary Papa Jasko is dead. May he so rest in peace. Hmm. This life, eh? It'd be something, no. So now, quickly, let's talk about Patience Ozoko. Now, Patience came out on her social media handle and he decided to address Nigerians. He decided to address people that are hoping to vote for better Nigeria. And this is what she says. From the depth of my heart, I want Nigeria to be great again. I will pray for it. I will work for it. 2023 election, vote wisely. Vote with your sense and your heart. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, is someone catching feelings? Listen, for those of you who know the TSEO, TSEO, vote wisely. Vote wisely. Vote with your sense. And your heart, do your part. Vote. Vote wisely. Vote with your sense and your heart. Do your part. Vote. When you go to vote, ladies and gentlemen, vote wisely. Vote with your sense, with your common sense and your heart. No vote with your poverty or hunger. Vote with your common sense and your heart. No vote with empty stomach or hunger. Because when you vote with hunger, you will sell your conscience. 
vote wisely. We are praying for a better Nigeria. Vote wisely. Now we day on a dying minute. Vote wisely. Election will soon come. Vote wisely. Vote with your sense. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all. So quickly, Shapale, let's talk about these two Nigerians that was arrested in India for casting lost pay on their clients and defrauding them. Ladies and gentlemen, let me read the report for you. Two Nigerians love spare casters arrested in India for allegedly defrauding female doctor over 6 million naira. They have been arrested in India for casting a spare on a female doctor and defrauding this woman of over 6 million naira. And it not be only this woman, no, they have been defrauding several women, casting love spares on them and defrauding them. You see how these people they, they tarnish our image out there. It be sad and it be shocktalizing that these Nigerians they will leave Nigeria. All they have in mind is to go out there and tarnish our image. Way, way, somewhere home. Tomorrow now, if Indians started hitting on us and started asking us to go, you say that they are wicked. No. They are not. It's actually the problem we have. These Nigerians going out there to tarnish Nigeria image, to tarnish our image. Why? They know if indulge themselves in something good. Look at it. You went there to defraud people. And when you come back in Nigeria, they will be calling you Oduguna India. As already eat the one of India without knowing what they are doing there. These people, they are out there tarnishing our image. And that's why, see, and any Nigeria where they get, where they do all these things, please arrest them and persecute them because they are tarnishing the image of Nigeria. <sighs> Now, quickly, Shapali, let's talk about this trending video that has been trending. Now, let's talk about UAE deporting Nigerians. Ladies and gentlemen, a video has been trending and Nigerians were spotted, jam-packed, load-packed, like sardine. Oh, my. I don't even know the kind of grammar I will use to coerciate this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I may not be like I just a they talk. Oh yeah, well, let's Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we keep on saying. We is very, very sad. Mass deportation. Deportation. Mass deportation. You see it? Now, Dubai now, no want Nigerians again because of waiting all these Nigerians they do. You go leave your country, go another person country just to commit crime. Just to commit crime, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be sad. And why I am so pissed in this whole shenanigan is because when these Nigerians, they commit crime, the good Nigerians will be affected. Good Nigerians who really want hustle legitimately will be affected. That is the problem, ladies and gentlemen. We? Hmm. 
are you telling me that we don't have other foreigners there? We have so many foreigners, different nationalities there. But all eyes is on Nigeria because of waiting this. These people they do. They are tarnishing our image. And honestly speaking, they are making the good Nigerians to find it very hard to survive out there. Because of these bad Nigerians. Now, the good Nigerians cannot even breathe. It'd be sad though. It'd be very, very sad. If they travel and you go go someone's country, they do courtesy in you, they, like if they commit crime, if they do all kinds of impassiasing. I, I am so pleased and at the poor. Are you telling me, if you see the Indians waiting for Dubai, there are many. Ghanians are there, many. Togonese are there, many. So many countries are there, many. But they respect themselves. But Nigeria, if they go, they want, like they want to show and they want to commit crime. And now our eyes is on them. It be sad though, and I keep saying it, we are not getting it right. In this country, we are not getting it right. Nigeria is blessed with milk and honey. Nigeria is so blessed with mineral, mineral resources, but we have nothing to show for it. There is nothing to show. Our leaders, our politicians, they have neutralized Nigerians and they have squandalized Nigerians and they have bandalized Nigeria. Nigeria right now is crying. That's why Nigerians, they are relocating. That's why so many Nigerians are traveling. Because if you are in Nigeria, you feel sad that Nigeria is so blessed. But yet, we have nothing to show for it. We are not getting it right. Election don't they reach. If you like, vote wisely. If you don't like, vote with hunger. You will still suffer it in the next four years. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. May we 